get ready for the dictation start sir i beg to move that the bill to provide for the reorganization of the existing state of andhra pradesh and for matters connected therewith as passed by lok sabha be taken into consideration sir the movement for a separate state of telangana has a long and checkered history it may be recalled that this region within the existing state of andhra pradesh had a distinct political and cultural identity there have been movements for a separate state in both the telangana region as well in the rest of andhra which reached a peak in the late 60s and early 70s which were resolved for the time being through discussions and agreements in the last few years however there has been a resurgence of social economic and political aspirations of the people of this region this bill seeks to meet the democratic aspirations of the people of the telangana region by reorganizing the existing state of andhra pradesh into two separate states of andhra pradesh and telangana i would like to reassure the members of this house that we have tried our best to accommodate the concerns and interest of all the stakeholders i can say with justifiable pride that we had invited and received suggestions from the entire cross section of the andhra pradesh society and every suggestion had been evaluated and dealt with appropriately when the bill was being prepared the draft bill prepared was referred by the honorable president to the andhra pradesh state legislature for giving their views by 23rd january 2014 at the request of the state government an extension of 7 days was given and the 30th january was fixed as the deadline after receiving the views of the state legislature we also received numerous suggestions from various quarters these have been considered and examined by the government amendments formulated on the basis of these suggestions were brought before the lok sabha and the amended bill is now placed before this august house for kind consideration the bill considers all aspects of governance for both the successor states and necessary supplemental and incidental provisions relating to representation in parliament and in the state legislatures distribution of revenues apportionment of assets and liabilities management and development of water resources power and natural resources ensuring peace and harmony and how to address the development needs of the backward regions and other matters it must be understood that this has not been an easy decision it has been taken after the widest possible consultations and after taking into account all the factors it is not our intention that the bifurcation should take place at the cost of one region or the existing state it is my sincere hope that this issue would get resolved in a manner that ensures peace and goodwill and progress 
एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी अमंग ऑल द सेक्शंस ऑफ बोथ द सक्सेसर स्टेट्स वी वॉन्ट टू इंश्योर दैट द इकोनमी ऑफ द सक्सेसर स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश शुड कंटिन्यू टू ग्रो देयर फोर द बिल ऑल्सो कंटेन्स आर फर फर्म कमिटमेंट टू एग्जीक्यूट द पोलावरम प्रोजेक्ट एज अ नेशनल प्रोजेक्ट बाय ऑप्टेनिंग ऑल नेसेसरी क्लियरेंसेज इंक्लूडिंग एंश्योरिंग फुल रिहेबिलिटेशन एंड रीसेटलमेंट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट शैल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड अ स्पेशल डेवलपमेंट पैकेज फॉर रायल सीमा एंड नॉर्थ कोस्टल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ द सक्सेसर स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश I wish to reiterate what I said in the Lok Sabha a day before yesterday that a financial package will be given to Sima Andhra. I would also assure the House that a special special cell will be created immediately in the Planning Commission under the Deputy Chairman to address the developmental needs. of the successor state of andhra pradesh in their totality and also ensure adequate financing for fulfilling them mr chairman sir i rise to thank the honorable president of india for the address and i support the motion of thanks moved by my colleague honorable president's address to both the houses outlines the blueprint of hope and aspirations of the people in general of development through good governance it is no exaggeration when i say that the elections of 2014 were looked upon by the whole world and with a sort of interest developed in all the countries they were looking at our country and they were watching with interest as to what the results were going to be it was just amazing that the whole world focused on the elections and the results a party with a history of 125 years a party who claimed that they got the country independence a party which boasts of their dynastic roots which thought that they were invincible was totally rooted but the irony of the whole thing is that the leader of opposition while making a speech yesterday and it is really unbelievable that instead of the introspection that he and his party should be doing was trumping the achievements of the upa government i do not know when the realization will dawn on him and his party the congress party and he will stop basking in the glory of their past stop